Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video about uh, products that I'm getting rid of, but not only that, um, ideas on where to, what to do with them once you want to get rid of products. I This was a big conundrum for me for a while because it just felt so wasteful to throw not even half used products away um, if I couldn't find anybody to give them to. So I was actually watching, and I mentioned Tati in my last videos, I watch her a lot, uh, and she mentioned that she gives her products away to women's shelters. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I can't believe I never thought of that. Well, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but that was brilliant. So I, um, I'm going to be giving, I have a handful of products here that I am going to be giving away to the women's shelter. You could also do homeless shelters or rehabs or anywhere where like a group of needy people are gathered and you know they'll just be so grateful to have these things um so i'm going to start off with um this is from fabfitfun and i have heard nothing about horrible things about this nothing but horrible things about this um it's the skin and coroma um blue in capri shower gel and uh you know it smells okay but people have said it's really drying people are saying that the ingredient the ingredients aren't the greatest i see already some that stand out as uh ingredients that i've been warned about are questionable for one reason or another so i am getting rid of this i'm not even bothering trying it i have no i have not heard anyone say that they like that product um, another thing is before I joined FabFitFun, now I have plenty of heat protectants, uh, but I, before I joined FabFitFun, I went on a search for one, and this is L'Oreal's Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. And I got this because I did research on Amazon for heat sprays that were the best review, had the best reviews and, um, and were affordable. Uh, so I am getting rid of this because it's not that it doesn't it serve its function, but it's L'Oreal, which isn't cruelty free. And if you watch my channel, I am trying to make become aware about all of the cruelty, um, the animal testing in the beauty industry, and move away from um, move toward cruelty free. Anyway, L'Oreal isn't cruelty free, but uh, that doesn't the reason I'm getting rid of it is really kind of funny. It makes my floor really slippery. So I, I used it once and my floor was really, really noticeably slippy, super slippery. And then um, when I used it the second time, I just I went into my bathtub and I, I sprayed it on my hair in my bathtub. But then I was worried about my bathtub being slippery. So that's what's really funny about this one is it makes the floor slippery. So it's not a bad... Uh, uh, heat protectant at all. It serves its its function, but it makes the floor slippery and L'Oreal is not cruelty free. Um, okay, so the next thing is this. Um, this one wasn't cheap. I wanted, um, I, I bought this when I didn't know as much as I've learned about um, hair care and products as I know now. So uh, I got this for like $22 at Target and <laughs> Let's just take a moment and laugh at the packaging for whatever reason you might laugh. Uh, and then it's, so it's TG Bedhead, it's After Party, it's a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. It's supposed to be uh, like for second day hair to kind of smooth it out. I found that um, it didn't really, uh, it, 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 I, oh yeah, I'm, rem I'm remembering now. Uh, I don't, the smell's really strong, it's not a bad smell. It's just uh, really strong, and I could I could smell it just all day. And um, I found that it, it I I try to find products where I cannot feel the product in my hair as much as possible. I think that that's the goal across the board, right? Um, but I, I I felt throughout the day I could feel this in my hair, and it felt a little bit. Um, like there was a film on my hand after I would touch my hair. Uh, I, it was okay. It was not twenty dollars worth, and I, uh, I, I also um, the smell. I could smell it in my hair all day, and it annoyed me when I would wear it uh, that I could smell it all day long. It was like following me around, and I didn't like the smell. Uh, I don't know why that's not going on well this time. Okay, so the next product is, and this one, people are gonna be. People are gonna disagree with me, but I didn't. I didn't like this so much. This was the second hair mask I bought and tried, the Shea Moisture one, and it's the you know strengthen and restore treatment mask. 
And people, people, this is really highly recommended and has really good reviews. I honestly, especially since exploring high-end masks with Fat Fit Fun, um, this, I, I, I never felt like my hair felt amazingly hydrated after I used it, for one. For, and second, there's like a hint of crayons or something weird in the smell that uh, just doesn't work for me. So I've used it like, I wanna say six, five or six times, um, but I have now plenty of excellent hair masks from Fat Fit Fun to go through, so I, I will never get around to using this. I think it actually might be past its life. Sh Shea Moisture is cruelty-free, um, and if you're looking for cruelty-free, you wanna look for these stamps on a product. And so when it has this bunny, that's that's usually a cruelty-free symbol on a product. But um, yeah, so this is a really uh, ecologically friendly uh, company, though, and it has a really interesting story. But I don't I don't like the hair mask, and people just love it though. So, but I am using much better hair masks from um, FabFitFun. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and um, this is the philosophy, um, this is the philosophy perfumed body, oh, this is a uh, lotion, philosophy lotion, and I, I have uh, the philosophy purity uh, sample of that uh, cleanser that is all over YouTube right now that people are recommending, and I'm looking forward to using that and trying that and let you, letting you guys know what I think. I haven't yet, but um, this is so heavily perfumed that like talk about a headache. I and and I actually kind of think that about most philosophy things. I haven't smelled the philosophy cleanser yet because it has a seal and I don't want to open it until I'm ready to use it to extend the life of my products. Um, but good God, that smells so strong. Whew. Um, anyway, that's all I have for now. I have a few more things that I didn't think would be as fun to share. Um, those are the main products that I wanted to show you guys. But if you're looking for a place to donate or, or if you need to get rid of products and you don't know what to do with them, find a women's shelter, find a rehab, find, find a homeless shelter, uh, find a social worker. If you uh, don't feel comfortable going into places like that, who can take it there for you? We don't have to just throw it in the garbage. Anyway, I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. Happy Martin Luther King Day. I hope you take a moment to really think about what the holiday means and I will see you guys later. Bye!